So if you don't already know, you're probably wondering what it means to juggle a football. Basically, it's a really common football skill. The goal is to keep the ball from touching the floor without using your hands. It's honestly a skill that people who are interested in football learn at a really young age. But I never did. As a result, every time I went to go play football with my friends, I would see them able to juggle and passing it between each other, but I couldn't, and I felt really left out. Juggling a football has always been a skill that I thought was cool and that I wanted to learn. And recently, I figured I had enough free time on my hands to finally pick it up and try to go for 50 juggles in a row. But this hasn't exactly been my first time trying to learn to juggle. So this is day th three of the 30 day challenge. Uh, the goal is 25 juggles. So yeah, that's me three years ago with a questionable fashion sense juggling the football. As you can see, I wasn't too bad, but I'd never gotten over around 20 juggles back then. But that was my basis coming into this new time around juggling the football. Okay, so I'm stuck inside today, but that does not mean that I'm not going to be juggling. So, let's see how it goes. That was not bad at all. Ooh, ankles. <laughs> So there I got 46 juggles, which was agonizingly close to my goal of 50. That was all I did that day, and the next day I was really determined to get it done. Unfortunately, things were getting a bit frustrating. So day 5 was pretty disappointing and I decided I needed to reflect on the journey so far and hone in on the tips and tricks that I picked up. First off, my feet. When I was juggling, I realized that being light footed and keeping my weight on the balls of my feet rather than my heels was a lot more effective because I was able to move around a lot quicker. Then I realized it was most effective when I hit the ball with the center of the top of my foot. Any other way and the ball would go too far forward or too far back, but that area was the sweet spot. I also realized that every time I kicked the ball above chest level, things started to get out of control. So that was something I needed to focus on as well. There was also a lot more thinking involved in juggling than I expected. I at first thought it was just muscle memory, but I soon realized that with every kick of the ball, I had to think about the rotation and how hard I wanted to kick it and where that would lead it to end up. So that was also something I had to keep in mind. 
My choice of footwear was surprisingly something that also affected my performance. If I wore the blue shoes um, that had more padding and a little more curve to it, I was able to go for a lot longer on average than if I wore my gray shoes that didn't have um, that curve and was a lot harder. And lastly, I realized the most beneficial thing was to never give up. As cliche as it sounds, in this context, no matter how bad your last kick of the ball is, there's almost always an opportunity to recover and get a good run out of it. So keeping that in mind and always trying to chase after it was definitely at the top of my mind. I went into day six with those tips in mind and it resulted in this. I need to wash that back, but I think, I think that was 50. Whew. I'm getting goosebumps, oh my gosh, I feel so good. Finally, wow. I like this. <laughs> okay, so I've got the 50, but I can't really get over the fact that it was on the blue shoes that I think were easier. So I'm going to change back into the brown ones and we'll see how that goes. and it's not 50 I'd be so mad but I think that was 50 on these boots <sighs> that feels good now with my goals met I figured I'd take this new skill out for a test drive So over the course of six days and a combined time of far more than five hours of practice, I finally learned how to juggle a football. As you saw, this has been something I've been trying to learn for quite some time and it just feels so fulfilling to finally get it done. I hope that by watching this video, I might have inspired you to do that thing or to learn that skill that you've always been putting off so you can finally get that under your belt as well. And at the very least, I hope it was kind of enjoyable. Speaking of being enjoyable, if you enjoy content like this, please leave a like. And if you want to see some more, 
please subscribe. It really helps me know if what I'm doing is enjoyable and if people are liking it and it gives me good feedback. But that is all from me today. I've been Isaiah. This is how my football ability has improved and I'll see you next time.